In this tutorial, you'll learn how to list a vehicle on eBay. The procedure itself is actually quite simple. However, when you're finished watching this all-inclusive tutorial, you'll also know how to revise or relist a vehicle, modify the eBay seller provided title, that is your searchable keywords, and modify or add a vehicle description. Start by locating the vehicles you'd like to list from your inventory. The fastest way to find inventory is to enter vehicle specific information such as VIN, stock number, make, or model in the search box at the upper left corner of the dashboard directly under the logo. I'm entering our test vehicle's stock number as an example, then clicking the search button. And here's the inventory record for our test vehicle, also known as the inventory instance. If your vehicle has an internet description, it should have been imported along with your data and will appear in this area of the inventory record. If you'd like to modify this description, click on Internet Description. Leave the template set to Description, only available for this inventory item, and leave the title set as Description. Now you can modify or add a vehicle description by typing into the Description Editor. If you'd like to copy a description from a website, or word processor. Be aware that hidden HTML code from these sources may cause rendering issues with your eBay listing. To avoid this problem, we highly recommend watching our brief tutorial on using the description editor, which outlines how to safely copy text from outside sources. When you're finished modifying or creating an inventory description, be sure to click Save All. The description that was just saved will appear in the inventory record of the vehicle, as well as your eBay listing. If you'd like to use a different description for your eBay listing, we'll go over how to do that in just a minute. We're getting closer to listing this vehicle on eBay, but first we need to create an eBay record for it, also referred to as the eBay instance. During this process, details stored in the inventory record will be carried over, however we'll double check them as we go along. Start by moving to the Actions for this item menu at the far right. Then look for Create and Review eBay Ad. If you don't see Create and Review eBay ad, but instead see Switch to eBay view, it means an eBay record has already been created for this vehicle. In that event, click Switch to eBay view, and you'll have the opportunity to review and launch the vehicle. For this demonstration, I'm using a vehicle that's never been listed on eBay. So the next step is to click Create and Review eBay ad. And you'll notice a wizard has now appeared. This wizard guides you through the steps of listing to eBay. Simply follow along. First, confirm the correct options and colors have been selected. After that, choose which eBay listing type you'd like to go with, either an auction style or fixed price listing. I'm choosing an auction style listing, and you'll notice I don't have to enter starting, reserve, or buy it now prices, which is a real time saver. That's because I previously set up eBay default pricing in my auction 123 dashboard. If you haven't enabled this feature, then you will need to manually enter these prices before proceeding. If you'd like to learn how to set up default pricing, then be sure to watch our video tutorial on how to set default pricing for your eBay listings. Before we leave this page, be sure to set the listing duration, then click save for later. You're now looking at the newly created eBay record or instance of this vehicle that will be listing to eBay. Next, click edit item, followed by the eBay Motors tab. Briefly scan to verify the information on this page is correct. Now click the Title tab. This will allow you to check the eBay seller provided title to make sure you have good searchable keywords, including keywords such as GPS, navigation, sunroof, leather, or other high demand options will help direct potential buyers to your listing. Moving on, if you'd like to assign a different contact to this vehicle, click the Contact tab, then select the contact you'd like to assign. To exit the listing editor, click Save Listing, and any changes you've made to this point will be saved. Next, let's go over the eBay vehicle description. If you'd like to use the same description that appears in your inventory record for your eBay listing, then you don't need to do anything here, because that description automatically carries over the moment the eBay record is created. What happens if you go back and modify the inventory description after the eBay record has been created? Well, then you need to modify the eBay description as well if you'd like it to match, because it will not carry over a second time. Modifying the eBay description is simple. Whether you'd like to make it match your updated inventory description, or create a unique description for your eBay listing, here's how you do it. Simply click on Descriptions just above the gallery photo. 
After that, the Message Center pop-up will appear. Leave the template setting and title exactly as is and make your changes to the text body only. Then click Save All and you've just finished updating the eBay description. Here's an important note. If you modify an eBay description while a live listing is running, the only way the change will take effect on eBay is if you either have automatic revisions set up in your Auction123 account or you manually revise the eBay listing. When a listing is live on eBay and you're looking at the eBay view in the dashboard, also known as the eBay record or instance of the vehicle, the review and launch button changes to say review and revise. Alternately, after a listing ends, the button changes to say review and relist. Clicking that button in any case takes you to the preview page where you can launch, revise, or relist a vehicle on eBay. And remember, eBay listings can only be revised if there are no bids or offers and the listing is not ending in the next 12 hours. We're just seconds away from launching this listing on eBay. To begin the final countdown, click the review and launch button to open up the preview page. Next, scroll through the preview page to make sure everything appears as you'd like. If you spot any last minute changes you'd like to make, move the mouse pointer into that section and when it turns gray, left click to open up the listing editor. Alternately, you can open the listing editor by clicking the blue button labeled Preview Edit Listing Data at the lower left. In the event you do make any last minute changes, remember to click the Save Listing button at the bottom right of the listing editor. You're now ready to launch this listing nationally. You can launch it in real time by clicking List on eBay or use the scheduler to set a delayed start time. And be sure to click Commit Schedule after setting the day and time so the schedule takes effect. Thanks for watching this Auction 123 tutorial. And as always, we appreciate your business.